On the road with Steve Negron in Concord, Elizabeth Beal of Dunbarton wants Congress to focus on defending the homeland. National security, cyber security is huge for me. We have a responsibility to protect the nation um, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And as a former military guy, that's the number one concern of mine is to make sure that we do the right things to protect the people inside our country and also abroad. And so absolutely, that's uh, that's something that's in the forefront of my mind. So if I, when I get to Congress, they'll know that as a veteran um, and as a father who has a veteran, that it has a son um, absolutely on active duty, that that's something that we always have to make sure that we keep the eye on the ball. Several voters asked Negron to help restore civility in politics if he's elected. Good things coming out of Washington, want to hear. Yes, and it, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. being nice to each other. Right? How about yeah. that? Being civil, that's a start. Yeah, being that's civil true. would be wonderful. We won't push anything forward unless we have middle ground. You know, President Reagan used to say, if you agree with me 80% of the time, you're not my enemy. And what we see here, this divisiveness, you know, it's almost like a playbook and we can't do it. You know, nothing will get done. And when we have this infighting in Washington, the people who are the ones that are affected are you as a citizen. We should embrace everybody as Absolutely. long as you agree with me. And there's yeah. a real problem with that. I'm sure right. this is going to get cut up six no, no, ways no. to say And it's on both and it's both sides of the fence. Dave Hall says he wants Congress to give veterans more choice and control over their VA health care. I think that's the main one for the, the guys coming back that have served and and suffered a trauma. And yeah. I think that's a that would be a good thing to, to have that choice. You betcha. And you know, there's uh, 435 members of Congress, only 79 have veteran status. So we need to get some folks up there with this huge, you know, we're going to have a lot of veterans out there and we have to have people that understand. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.